How simple is the guava ghetto? Very. <laughs> well, I'll have one of those then, please. <laughs> Miss Westland? Yes. I'm Tony, your scuba instructor. Hola, Tony. Please call me Maggie. Okay, Maggie. Uh, when you're ready, I thought we might start with a little snorkeling to get you warmed up. You can schedule at the sports desk any time. How about right now? Sure. Uh, shall I have your meal waiting for you when you get back? Yes. Why don't you um, charge it to the room and take a nice big tip for yourself? <laughs> Thank you. Let's go. Your first lesson. A drink, Mr. Uh, Weston, George Weston. Um, whole club soda. Oh, your wife has a food order in. Shall I just add the drink and bring everything over? Well, where is she? Snorkeling. Uh, yeah, thanks. Separate vacation, so separate. Well, I could if I wasn't getting busted for drugs and having to sign for your guava gets home. Excuse me, the lady is in the middle of a lesson. Back off, my wife. Don't hit him, please. I'll have to identify the body. Oh, oh, I see. So if we weren't married, you let the guy slug me. Is that it? Tony, we'll finish tomorrow, okay? Yeah. yeah. Rule number nine, George. Respect personal space. But rule number eight, common goals. It's not your money or my money, Maggie. It is our money. I'm sorry to be a downer and spoil your cuddly snorkel out there, but I would like to be able to eat breakfast tomorrow. Breakfast is included, George. Oh, be a child. Run away. hear it, I can see it, and there's miles of it between us and civilization. Oh, come on. We're not exactly the Swiss family western. They know we're here, and they'll come and find us. Who knows how soon they'll realize we're missing. We need to think survival. I'm thinking about lunch. I'm starving. Now, let's see. We got rope. We got a little food. We got the clothes on our back. We got a poncho. First aid kit. Ah, waterproof matches. And a knife. My watch. We didn't have this much stuff when we set up housekeeping 20 years ago. <laughs> housekeeping? Now you're thinking, we need shelter. 
And the best place for a camp is on high ground. So I, I say we grab all of this stuff, and then we go and climb up there. I'd hate to leave this lovely beach, George. Dang it, this lovely beach is going to be underwater when the tide comes in. Now, are you going to come with me or not? Oh. What happened to your arm? Oh, I must have banged it on that rock. Maggie, where, where are you going? I'm going to get a Cupid's starch for that bruise. No, 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 Maggie, now is not the time to go pick flowers. Get some firewood and, and meet me up there for Cupid's starch. Oh, great, great. We need wood, we get flowers. But these flowers are medicinal, and I found some fresh water with something to put it in. I could make tea. Maggie, I'm not drinking some tea made with wild flowers. Why not? The natives did it all the time. The natives are extinct. What do you want from me, George? I, I want you to stop playing island princess and get real. I mean, go find some real wood, some real coconuts, because it's going to be really, really dark real soon. I saw a real pig. Uh, what? I saw a pig. A wild pig? A boar? They're ferocious. It didn't look ferocious. Maggie, do not go back to that area. Because a wild boar can kill you. George? Do you think anyone misses us yet? 